Hello. The task this time is to perform this translation on a coordinate grid. Coordinate grid meaning here's a graph. So we're going to do a translation of this little flag shape on the graph. A lot of times translations, depending on which book you're using, translations will also be referred to as slides or even glides, uh, but uh, I will be using the word translation here. So we're going to be moving this flag. In a translation, we're not going to pick it up and flip it over. We're not going to be rotating this flag. We're simply going to take it and somehow slide it in some direction across the graph. Uh, and so what we want to do is we want to use this rule here for determining what our translation is going to do and where it's going to move this original purple flag that you see right there. So first off, it tells us that every, every point on this flag uh, is going to be moved according to this translation rule, that the point xy, in general, any point xy, will become the point x plus 4, y minus 3. Any point, so that's going to be true for A, for B, for C, and for D and really any point anywhere on this flag that we're going to add 4 to the x coordinate, whatever it was originally, and take the original y coordinate and subtract 3 from it. So what does that mean exactly? The x coordinate, x always deals with your distance going left or right. The x coordinate deals with left to right movement. The y coordinate always deals with up and down movement. So really what this is going to tell us is if the x coordinate is going to be uh, adding 4 to it every time, what that really means, adding 4 means we're going to be going in this direction. Plus 4 means going 4 units to the right. So that's what this translation is going to be doing. And this minus 3 if we're going to add 3, we'd be going up, but we're subtracting 3, so minus 3 to the y would be going down 3. So that's really what this translation is going to be doing, taking every point and moving it 4 units to the right and 3 units down. So we can just start doing that. Let's start with point A, and let's go over 4 units to the right. 1, 2, 3, 4 units to the right. And now let's go three units down, one, two, three. And right there is going to be our new point A, or our A prime. A prime is right there. We moved four units to the right, three units down, according to our coordinate rule right there that we're following. Let's do the same thing to point B. Point B is right here. We're going to be moving, again, four units to the right. One, two, three, four. Three units down. One, two, three. And right there is our new point B, or B prime. Same thing to C. Moving four units to the right. One, two, three, four. Three units down. One, two, three. 3, and right there is going to be our new C prime. And finally, move point D the same way. 1, 2, 3, 4 units to the right. 1, 2, 3 units down. And right there is going to be our D prime. So let me connect these points with lines to make our new flag. This is the image of the flag after translating this original flag four units to the right and three units down. So we can get the now coordinates of this new flag. We can do that by reading it off the graph which is definitely one way of doing it. Another thing that we could do if you wanted to get the coordinates of this flag after doing this translation you actually don't even really need the graph. You could just hide the graph if you wanted and only use this, uh, these little formulas here, this coordinate rule, uh, to figure out the new points. For example, here is 
our x coordinate and there is our y coordinate. That's our x and our y. If I am going to let's see, I gotta find my marker. This one will do. If I am going to move this point according to this rule, let me take my x coordinate, which is negative three, and put it in for x right here. And so the new coordinate will be negative three plus four. Negative three plus four is a positive one. Now let's figure out what the coordinates of our, the y coordinate will be. So we take our y, which is five, put that in for y, and the rule says we're gonna take y and subtract three from it. So five minus three is two. So those will be the new coordinates of our point. The point will be one, x is one, one to the right, two up. And let's see if that's right based on going back to our graph. We start at the origin, we go right one, up two, and there is our a prime. It worked. So we can get these coordinates without even using the graph. Let's finish it off without using the graph. So the point B has an x coordinate of negative one, a y coordinate of four. Let's put negative one in for x, negative one plus four. Negative one plus four is three. And now let's do the y. y is four. 4 minus 3 is 1. Let's do part C. X is negative 3, Y is positive 3. So negative 3 in for X, negative 3 plus 4 is 1. And now the Y coordinate is, the original Y coordinate is 3, we'll put that in for Y. 3 minus 3 is 0. So those are the coordinates of our new C point, C prime. And finally, D, X is negative three, Y is one. So let's put negative three in for X. Negative three plus four, again, is one. And our Y coordinate is one. So put that in, one in for Y. One minus three is negative two. So we just determine the points of this flag after doing this translation, only using the rule. We did not need the graph. The graph is kind of handy at times, and let's use the graph to see if our coordinates seem to be correct. So we already checked A, let's check point B. X is three, Y is one, so that'd be over three. One, two, three, to the right, up one, and there's B prime, it is correct. Let's check C prime, X is one, Y is zero, so that'd be right one and zero, up or down, so we'll stay right there, that is also correct and D prime is X is one, Y is negative two, so one to the right, two down, and that is correct. So these are the coordinates of the translation using the rule. We can also perform the translation just by using the graph, ignoring the coordinates. Just going four to the right and three down.